Okay. This is section 4.3 in your books, A, Right Angle Theorem. Notice I said A, meaning there is possibly more than one. But we're only going to cover one right now. So the objective for this lesson, of course, is then to apply one way of proving that two angles are right angles. Easy enough, right? So, if we're going to prove that lines are perpendicular, it depends on proving that they form right angles. We can't say that lines are perpendicular if we haven't first proven that they're right angles or been given that information. So it makes sense that we should know some ways of proving that angles are, in fact, right angles. Now, there is a theorem that states this, and it is theorem 23. So add that to your list of theorems to make cards for. Okay, and it says that if two angles are both supplementary and congruent, then they are right angles. Okay, now I like I occasionally like to do, we're going to prove this theorem. So we are given that angle one is congruent to angle two, and we need to prove that angle one and angle two are right angles. So we're given this, angle one is congruent to angle two. Now before I move on, notice that there's something missing, okay? Oh no, where'd my statement and my reasons heading go? Okay, you guys are uh, close to being pros at this, right? And by now we know that the first column is statements and the second column's uh, reasons. So I'm not going to require that you have it in there anymore. However, if it makes you feel better and uh, you like how it looks, then by all means keep them in. If not, not going to hold it against you. But anyway, back to the proof. So, next step, we can say that angle 1 is supplementary to angle 2, and we can assume this from the diagram. Then we can say that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180, because the sum of supplementary angles is 180. And then by substitution, we can say that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 1 equals 180, therefore the measure of angle 1 equals 90 by substitution. And we can cap it off with angle 1 and angle 2 are right angles because congruent angles have the same measure. All right. Now, I want to make a note of something here. This step right here, okay, stating that angles are supplementary um, because it's in the diagram, we don't have to state that anymore. We're just going to know it because you can assume that from a diagram. You can assume straight angles. You can assume lines from a diagram. So since it's something that's irrefutable in the diagram, we're not even going to waste a step stating it anymore. So that's the last time that you'll see that. All right, and you'll kind of get an idea as to how it's going to work in the next proof. So how does this help us out? Well, let's look at this one. We are given that AB is congruent to AC, that segment BD is congruent to segment CD, and we need to prove that AD is an altitude. So start off with your givens. AB is congruent to AC, and BD is congruent to CD, and that's a given. We can then say that segment AD is congruent to segment AD by the reflexive property. Now we can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD by side, 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 as shown in steps 1, 1, and 2. Finally, we can say that Angle BDA is congruent to angle CDA by CPCTC. Okay. We can then finish, or not finish, but we can then say that angle ABD and angle ACD are right angles because if two angles are both supplementary and congruent, then they are right angles. Now, this is what I was talking about. We stated that they're congruent. We don't need to state that they're supplementary because it's apparent from the diagram that they are. So you don't even need to make that statement. So now we know that they're right angles. So let's make a little bit of a correction there. Replace those lines with these. Okay. And finally, we can say that segment AD is an altitude. Because if a segment from a vertex of a triangle is perpendicular to the opposite side, it is the altitude, it is an altitude of a triangle. So, um, can be useful, especially when you're using the right triangle, you know, some right specific right triangle stuff like hypotenuse legs. So this is important to know. So uh, just kind of soak it up, take it in, and uh, try and make sure that it makes sense to. If not, please ask the questions. Okay.